Lilac is a small village in Darnon Block, Aizol district of Mizoram. It is located at a height of 1,150 meters above sea level and is 90 km towards north from district headquarters Aizol. The latitude 23.8 and longitude 92.9 are the geo coordinate of Lilac. According to 2011 census, the total population of Lilac is 505 and a number of houses are 96. Village literacy rate is 73.5. It can be reached by road from National Highway 150 by traveling south from Country Village for about 5 kilometers. The approach road to the village is unmetalled road. The road is raw, bumpy and rough, but driving to the place will give you slightly off-roading joy. Lilac Secondary School was established in 6 August 2012. Since it was started only from second term of the school session, children of Lilac Village were already admitted to the nearby village school, that is, Korolian High School, which is about 10 km from Lilac. The educational campaign resulted in pulling back of the seven children of Lilac Village from Korolian High School, who were the first batched. The headmaster and the teachers also identify school dropped out and enticed them to join their school. Tuna hian lai lak secondary school a kan om mek ani a. Kabula hian puzawram mwa na fan ai headmaster lai lak secondary school a tru a. Amasa in pumwante school leadership academy SCRT mingin zibai kabuk du tse a. I oma chang hian e Lot Linda Nasataka om Tikan Shia Tung Tu Iti Dan Kal Mangte in Sikul in Low and Kol Dante in Record Te in in Mason Nate Kang Teka Minshil Tayem. He masa in Teti Lai can school Temiron Claw, S C R T Tetsunga Lon Tu, can so Masadua school leadership Chung Changa uh meeting le training in Kaunate Pokan Karon Kalve ah anuam khop moya lok thak te po ka tiya khang atang te po khan thil tam tak e zir chu a te po ka nei ani ti kha kan sei ma sa du a tu na hian hei kumruk hslc kan han apier ve ta a chu ta chuan apier zong zong a hi mi som sari patni an ni to a e repeater a hi som an om ve to a pas chuak a hi som nga an ni ya the school had no building of its own. They were placed in a small semi-paka building having just two rooms. A hilly area land which was flattened earlier by a dozer meant for a public playground was given to the school by the village council. Since there were no quarters and the village did not have room for rent, the school principal and teachers shared the building with classrooms. In the year 2014, RMSA constructed new school building in the land given to the school. Till today, the school functioned with limited resources. They have just one old computer and a printer given by the VC. There are headmaster and six teachers working in the school. Two teachers are on maternity leave, but the faculty are committed and have good relationship. Till date, there are 72 students who had appeared in class 10 board examination and 50 students pass out from this school. It is noteworthy that all new repeaters had failed for the second time. Presently, there are 26 students studying in the school. Parent-teacher meeting is held at frequent interval, where students, parents and teachers sit together to talk about problems and issues and mainly about school's welfare. School Development and Monitoring Committee, STMC, was constituted in which the headmaster of the school functions as a secretary. Consultative meeting of teachers, village council and all NGO leaders for development and quality improvement of the village is held on a regular basis. Occasionally, the secondary school jointly celebrate Teachers' Day with primary school and middle school. All decorations and preparation of banners are done by the students. Besides students, teachers also participated in the function. Realizing the absence of means of community information, the school headmaster and teacher initiated local newspaper called 
Zalfil Rune. This newspaper is jointly published with Branch YMA, an NGO. Teachers and students write articles for the newspaper. Since organizing of school sport is not possible, the school jointly organized local football tournament with YMA. Students and youth from the village spend unforgettable moment in participating in the tournament. The whole village celebrated 100% HSLC past. Formal function was organized. Citation and token of appreciation was given to the successful candidates in the program. The village authorities entrusted the school to take the responsibility in maintaining the giant rock near the campus. They built a small shed at the top of the rock and it became an attractive spot to spend leisure time. Majority of the parents in the village are farmers. Most of the parents preferred their children to help them in the crop field. Headmaster and teachers perceived the necessity of education consciousness among parents. They periodically organize education awareness campaign in the village. Sometimes eminent resource persons were also invited. Arrangement was also made for HIV AIDS awareness campaign jointly with NSS My School. Some of the uneducated parents are addicted to tobacco and tobacco related products. In order to prevent youth from substance abuse, health and tobacco awareness campaign was also organized. To help the student understand table manner and to maintain health and preventing diseases, especially by being clean, headmaster and teacher of Lilac Secondary School arranged big meal in the school ground where students practice table manner and cleanliness in practical. Students of Lilac Secondary School often participated in community activities, cleaning the village, helping those who are in need, and even whitewashing of the church. They also participated as a member in the church choir. There are also times where the students are taught cultural dance such as Tsero, Sarlamkai, Kualam, etc. The headmaster keeps on studying each and every subject and try to master them. He is able to take class of any subject, so the school never faced problems in the absence of subject teacher. Teaching learning materials such as map, charts, etc. are displayed in the class. They found this practice more useful in geography class as the students are able to locate the places which are being studied in the class. To study the family background and home environment of the student, the headmaster and teachers of Lilac Secondary School frequently conduct home visit. This home visit acts as a means to understand the problems faced by the students in regard to their study. They even discovered that some students do not have congenial climate for home study. In order to help in creating congenial atmosphere at home, headmaster and teachers use this home visit to educate parents. They even contribute money to help those who are in need, example, buying electric bulb and fitting them in the homes where there is not adequate lighting for study. In order to let the student engage in their study, the teacher prepared study routine to be followed at home. The study routine is made known to the parents of the student and requested them to monitor their children's study habit. To develop independent learning skills, the school teacher assigned students to practice and apply what has been learned in the school to their respective parents and family members.
Hello secondary school ah yang first batch kali ya. Mulai tak school lau cor to kali ya. Hello secondary school lau diin terhian. Zuri putih yang mana bangin. Zuna cincum le turin. Ani nate orang kalian beron soma. Tujuan zuna cukan cincum le ya. Patihan zara matric. Teh cadai minum pas betah. Yang cadai hian ngaya memang muda angkat. ก็มีจิตใจในทุนอาทิตย์ตัวเช้าเช้าวันที่ฮิอันอุ้งซุยเปลี่ยนอันนอกบางทีช่วงบางช่วงปีนี้ก็พูดอินพัสดุเราพู